Hi guys, and welcome back to the channel. Do you know what time it is? I'm gonna tell you what time it is. It is molting time. I know, it sounds crazy. Mine started molting a month ago. They like to molt as the leaves start falling. The feathers start falling. It, it never fails. It's like, oh look, leaves are falling. Oh look, feathers are falling. Our runs, our runs covered in feathers. Um, so let's talk about molting. Why they molt and what you're gonna see happen as they are molting. So what is molting? Well, if you are a chicken owner, you're probably gonna know what molting is. Molting is basically, I like to say, out with the old, in with the new. It's their new wardrobe. Mine molt every fall. They have spring chicks, they molt in the fall. So basically, as the fall starts approaching, as I said, leaves fall, feathers fall, and they'll start dropping their feathers. Some have mild molts and some have extreme molts. My bar rock seem to really molt hard every time, and I don't know why. My Dominic's, it's hit or miss, and I have some who are apps, who are four years old and have, I mean, their molt is like, I don't know, they just, they drop a few feathers. So it's gonna vary. When molting kicks in, you are absolutely going to notice a decrease in egg production. And the reason so is the nutrients that they usually use for their bodies to produce those eggs, that is now flipping into helping them to be able to regrow their feathers. Um, so for example, right now I have 20 girls and I'm maybe getting six eggs a week and that's okay. We expect it. I know this time of year I'm going to be buying eggs. It never fails. We know what's happening. It's not the food. They're not broken. It's just part of life. And it's their vacation. That's what I always say. It's their, it's their vacation. They're taking a break to better themselves. <laughs> no, it sounds weird. It's true. They're bettering themselves. How can you support your chickens during the molt? Well, one thing I've noticed, and this is crazy, but... I love cuddling our chickens. The kids love cuddling the chickens. During molt though, they really don't like that. And I, I get it. They have the little prickly feathers all over them. And so like currently we are still having two, three with Bumblefoot. And one of mine are in a hard molt um, with Bumblefoot. And so they don't like to be held a lot because of the pokey feathers. It irritates them. They don't love it. So when you do have to hold them during a molt like that, just keep in mind that it's, a, it's uncomfortable. Just I limit how much we cuddle them during this time. They don't want to do it and you know it's not about me it's about them and it's uncomfortable to them so they come up for their snacks and 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 to talk and and do their thing but they just don't want to be held and, and that's understandable. Another thing to consider during this time is the protein. Now, if they're not laying, some people will switch to um, a flock. Some people will switch. To, you you want to look at the higher protein food. Now, I've never really had to do that with mine, but I do keep that in the back of my mind that I can. We have such a wide variety of what's molting and what's not. I just keep going with my layer, but you can switch to a higher protein. Just keep, you know, it's not for long term. It's temporary. Off lock is absolutely a higher protein and they do love the off lock. My roosters get off lock. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind is their, their diet, their protein needs, and, and they don't like to be held a lot and cuddled. So that's all for that one. Honestly, if you have any more suggestions, I'd love to hear them though, because I am open to anything. Whatever makes their life easier during this time is so hard for them. So whatever makes it easier. Treats. Um, my divas, I mean chickens, divas, chickens, chicken di diva chickens. Yeah, they love treats. Honestly, they, they love anything, but um, they do love treats. So, um, I do try to give them a little extra scratch, a little extra mealworms if they have it, um, and things like that. They just to kind of, you know, boost the protein up. Um, keep in mind that their diet can't be made up of just snacks. So, but I do uh, make sure to give them extra, and it it helps. I think it helps. I like to pretend it helps. It makes them happy during a time where they are like miserable because of what's going on. So it's a win win. I I guess just make sure that that's not all their diet is.
vitamin supplements. Um, we use vitamins. Uh, I started using vitamins back several years ago. Sugar, who is one of my cross beaks, has some problems. And she was walking backwards. And we were trying to figure out what's causing her to walk backwards. Is it a vitamin deficiency? Is it what's going on? And that's when we first started introducing vitamins. Now, keep in mind, we don't give vitamins year-round. We don't give vitamins all the time. Um, we will, depending on the weather, we will give a vitamin B to them. Um, during the cold weather, I will give um, a multivitamin to them. I mix it in their water, but I'll always make sure to have a thing of clean water because as much as they need their vitamins, you're not going to force a chicken to drink what it doesn't want to drink, right? Uh, and I, water's important. I mean... Let's be real, they need their water. So I have one container with their vitamin water and then I have their options with not vitamin water in it. So I do give them vitamin water, especially during their molt, if we're hit with cold weather or if somebody's just acting kind of, you know, you can usually tell if they need it. I'll give it like for five days and then we'll take a break and see how it's going. So it's just kind of, you got to play by ear, but you know, there are things out there with supplements and vitamins that you can give them to help them along in, in this time and and that's completely up to you it's not it's a personal choice like i said it's not something i use a lot and i don't use it all the time but there is a time for it and and there's sometimes we use it uh just last week we were using it um because i had some that were molting heavily and they needed it you know barb is molting heavily and i felt she needed it so we used it you know and so like I said, some love it, some don't. You can get, you can mix it in the water, you can give it straight. It must taste like, like what our, I can only assume that it tastes like what our vitamins taste like because they hate it and they spit it out like small children. So there's that. And last but not least, just remember, have patience. It will pass. Just make sure you give them whatever they need to keep them happy and healthy. And as soon as their molt's over, they're gonna be back to their normal self and have all of their energy back and they'll start laying eggs again. And it'll be a thing of the past and they'll look gorgeous with all their big full feathers that they just got in. So that's basically what a molt is. You're gonna have your egg, a decrease in eggs and things like that. So. Thank you for tuning in. And if you have any questions, I'd love to hear them. If you have any suggestions, I would love to hear them. But other than that, have a wonderful day. Bye.